What's up guys, Matt and Blake from the Football Boots team and today we are going to be running through our top 10 signature edition boots ever made. Now Blake has put this list together, I haven't seen them, you haven't seen them and what we want you guys to do is at the end of the video let us know your order of the 10. Now the inspiration for this video of course Neymar's Vapors which are the Puro Phenomenos have just been released and for anyone who hasn't seen these stay tuned to the end of the video when we'll be actually revealing them. Now Blake has also been another signature edition boot released this week so what were they? So a signature edition for Sergio Ramos this is his first signature edition by Nike it's a Tempo Legend 7 of course it's Real Madrid and Spain inspired very very nice sole plate with that maroon to a gold gradient Bit of gold detailing on the back of the Flyner Upper on that Nike skin there. Black Swiss logo with a bit of gold on the back. 4,000 pairs available worldwide. Let's get into the top 10. Kicking us off at number 10 is the Nike Superfly 5, made specifically for Lekker Martins. Now, Blakey, what was the reason behind this boot? So the reason behind this boot, this is a signature edition for Lekker Martins. She won the 2017 Best Women's Player of the Year Award. She's Dutch. They've made a blue and orange inspired design. She also plays for Barcelona, so I can see it working for club and country as well. Overall, I think it's a very, very sharp design. Instead of that Nike text we see on the medial instep, we see Lekker, where Lekker replaces that Nike text. What do you think? Of them. I think that's the nicest touch about these super flights. Take away the Nike and put in Lekka, looks incredible. Now these remind me a little bit of the EA Sports super flights. Yeah. Blue and orange, such a great colour combination and I think these Lekka Martins ones epitomise that. From Nike to Puma and in at number 9, we've got the Puma 1 17.1s. Not the best boot, but two pretty classy colourways. So one is for Aguero, the gold one was for Aguero, and this one here is for Antoine Griezmann. Now this version is different to the standard leather versions you get on Puma 117.1. This is all synthetic. To get that chrome coating, you've had to put a synthetic upper on these two boots. One for Aguero, one for Griezmann, and as well as that, we've got this one as well, which is the Puma Future, again for Antoine Griezmann. Just been released by Puma, and this is a very, very nice design. It's got a sort of eye design. He played a big part in the design of these football boots. You've got silver, pretty much chrome silver with that eye design. Form stripe there, as well as that, you've got yellow laces. And we've got the Antoine Griezmann logo on that collar there. What do you think of these ones? Gold and silver colorways seriously do it for me, so massive ticks to Puma. The Puma 117.1s, in my opinion, poor boot. And I think there's a lot of people out there who would actually agree with that. But the new futures, I haven't tested these. I would love to. I love the way they look. I love the concept of the laces. And I think in this colorway, Griezmann's got a very nice pair of boots for Atletico Madrid. Going from one La Liga player to another, we've now got Lionel Messi with his Nemesis 17.1 in the Sky Stalker pack colorway, specifically for Messi. So what's the colorway used? So the colorway used is black, gold, and crimson. Very, very nice design. Messi himself, he's had four signature Nemesis 17.1s in 2017, and this is by far the best version. We've also got that blue-white one, the Pyrosome one, which is pretty much all white, and that first black and white version. What do you think of these ones? I prefer these Messi Sky Stalkers so much over the standard ones because I feel like there's almost a little bit of colorway missing. Yep. There's too many patches of fill over black, which isn't the worst thing, but for some reason it doesn't look as good yep. as these Messi version with the gold stripes and the Messi branding. In at number seven, we've got CR7, with his force of greatness Superfly 5s. Now for me, I think these might be my favorite chaps of for CR7 so far. So chapter four for CR7. This boot is all about Ronaldo rising to fame at Manchester United. In 2008, he got the Ballon d'Or award for the best player in the world. And this boot is inspired by that. It's pretty much a sort of melting steel sort of design, melting swords. You've got silver at the top on the diamond fit collar, on the laces there, black swoosh logo, and a very nice gradient from that silver down to that crimson on the bottom of the upper and on the whole sole plate. I really, really rate this design. The design inspiration is probably the best with this boot. Overall, I really, really rate it. What do you think? Yeah, I love it so much. As I said, probably my favorite chapter so far. You can really see how it's like that silver melting away at the bottom of the sole plate. Yeah. Like that fire, I think it does look very nice. But that's CR7 in at number seven, so what's gonna come in at number six? Well, CR7 has just won the Ballon d'Or, but this guy could be the winner of the next one. We have got Neymar with his Vapor 11 written in the stars. So this is his first signature Mercurial Vapor 11, and I really, really rate the design. Mostly a sort of blue design, white Swiss logos, and a bit of vault yellow on the sole plate, and on the border of the Swiss logos, as well as on the heel lining. And this boot is all about Neymar's sporting achievements, from at Santos to Barcelona to now at PSG, as well as that is in Brazil. Overall, I really, really rate the colorway. I definitely would wear these. Would you wear these? 
I'll probably wear them as well. Vapor 11, probably not the best boot for a centre half like me. Want to be a little bit more classy. But of course, this is the first chapter in Neymar's story. A little bit like CR7. Yep. And as we said in the intro, at the end of the video, you're going to be seeing his brand new Puro Phenomenos. But it's back to CR7 for number five spot. And that's for his chapter five as well, the Mel Hors. So there's two boots and one here. The chapter fives, the cut to brilliance. This is the Melhor version. The Melhor version is inspired by him winning the best men's player of the year for 2017. It has those chrome silver details on the CR7 logo on the instep and on the sole plate. Very, very nice design. And on the Swiss logo, it had more of a pearlescent look. But on those cut to brilliance versions, it was pretty much an all white design. Now this boot is pretty much inspired by him moving from Manchester United to Real Madrid. Do you like the white out design? Yeah, I do like the white out design a lot. The chapter fives were very nice boot, but the Melhors just took it to a slightly higher level just because of the little additions on that swoosh and also the CR7 branding. Just missing out on our top three in at number four was Premier League superstar Paul Pogba with his A17 Plus Pogba Pure Controls. Now, black and gold, that is the best color combination in pretty much in terms of any colorways. And this one is inspired by Pogboom, his Pogboom hashtag, and has a gold sole plate, black upper with that marble effect with that gold design. Adidas three stripes are black with that gold border. These are so nice. I really, really wanted a pair. Came out in early 2017. Very, very nice pair. You have to like these. I love these so much. And of course, there were the pork booms for the A16 Plus Pure Controls. But what we want to know is, out of the two, which would you prefer? The 16 Plus Pog booms or the 17 Plus Pog Pure Controls? One of the newest signature boots in this list comes in at number three, the CR7 Quinto Triumpho. Of course, as you mentioned, just won the Ballon d'Or. Do you like these? Do I like these? Again, I like the victorious ones, the ones for 2016, much more. But Quinto Triumpho means fifth triumph in Portuguese. Gold to silver gradient. I really, really rate the colorway, but not my most favorite signature edition for CR7. The Swiss logo is silver with gold and black on the border there. Black trim everywhere else and gold sole plate. Very, very nice. What do you think it is? I think I like these more than a lot of people. I've heard a lot of feedback coming out that people aren't too fond of them. But I think these are actually really nice. I like the gold because it's actually really solid around where the sole plate meets the upper. Yep. So that's big ticks. And then just slow gradient into that kind of grey silver colourway. I don't mind these. But let's find out who came number two and number one. Well, it's another gold boot which takes our silver plates, and that is the Totti Gold Legend Sixes. So one of Nike's best and most endorsed player was Francesco Totti of AS Roma in Italy. Wore Nike his entire career, and this Tiempo Legend Six Totti Gold Edition is stunning. This is one of my favourite gold editions I've ever seen on a pair of football boots. You have that traditional fold of a tongue with that strap. Very similar to what you see on an Adidas Predator. Black Swish logo on the back of the boot, but the whole upper itself had a sort of metallic gold look. It had a standard K leather upper, and that sole plate is just pure bliss. What do you think of this? Guys, we were actually lucky enough to get these in ourselves, and trust me, the level of craftsmanship and quality is something that we haven't really experienced before. With that extended fold over tongue, these honestly were some of the best boots released in 2017. Taking the crown as the very best signature boot ever released is the C CR7 Campios, and remember, just after this one, you're going to be seeing the brand new name of Pura Phenomenos. So vote in the poll card later for which one you actually prefer. But these were an absolute smash. Another version of that Vitorious edition with that gold sole plate, gold Swiss logo, and gold branding everywhere. But what do we see on the upper? We have a Portugal inspired upper, pretty much a maroon red on the entire boot with a Portugal flag on the heel of the boot, pretty much inspired by Ronaldo and Portugal winning the 2016 European Championship. These are nice, red and gold. You don't see it a lot, but I really, really rate these. What do you think? Well, these weren't even for retail. If you guys wanted them, you couldn't buy them. There yeah. was one pair in the world. Now, we actually did a custom for this on a pair of Superflyers, yeah. and at the moment, I think that video is on over two million views. So you guys obviously liked it so much. But what we're gonna see now is the brand new Neymars, the Puro Phenomeno. So Blakey, click and take it away. So these are the Puro Phenomeno Mercurial Vapor 11s, inspired by the original R9s, is that right? Yeah, so pretty much a chrome to blue design. The Swish logo is black with a bit of lime on the branding as well. Lime on the instep and blue on the lateral side of the boot. What do you think of these? I love these so much. Of course, my age, I love those original R9 Mercurials. A little bit of touches with that blue and the wavy graphic, and also very modern 2017 with that Neymar touch as well. 
But what we want to know is, out of the list that you've seen, create your own top three, top five, or even top ten. Let us know in the comment section below. But that's it for today, guys. All wrapped up. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we'll see you next time.